Okay, good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Councilmember Daniel Drum and I'm the chair of the committee. We are joined by Councilmember Jimmy Van Bremer, Councilmember Robert Cornegy, Councilmember Andy Cullen, Councilmember Adrian Adams, Councilmember Keith Powers, Councilmember Steve Matteo, and Councilmember Barry Grudenchik. Today the committee will, will be voting on three items, one transparency resolution, one Article 11 property tax exemption, and one bid, one bid resolution. We have the transparent, first we have the transparency resolution, which sets forth a new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in that resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the Council, or, any, and another, or another entity are identified in the attached charts with an asterisk. As, uh, as with all transparency resolutions, Council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any Council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Benjamin Smith from the General Counsel's Office is here and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding disclosures. Next, we have the land use item, which is 645 Barreto Street in Councilmember Salamanca's district in the Bronx. This action would provide a full 40-year Article 11 property tax exemption to support the preservation of 48 units of affordable co-op housing. Councilmember Salamanca is supportive of this exemption. Finally, we have the bid item. Resolution number 564 sets forth November 14, 2018 at 10 a.m. in this room to hold a public hearing considering the local law that would authorize an increase in the budgets of 14 existing bids throughout the city to increase the amounts they expend annually. The budget increases have been requested by the property owners within the boundaries of each bid and would be used to enhance the services provided. The 14 bids that are seeking budget increases are the Steinway Street bid in Councilmember Constantinidis and Councilmember Van Bremer's district, the Graham Avenue bid in Councilmember Levin's and Councilmember Reynoso's districts, the Lower East Side bid in Councilmember Chin's district, the Fashion Center bid in the Speaker's district, the Grand Street bid in Councilmember Reynoso's district, the 125th Street bid in Councilmember Perkins' district, the Lincoln Square bid in the Speaker and Councilmember Rosenthal's districts, the Madison 23rd Flatiron Chelsea bid in the Speaker and Councilmember Powers and Councilmember Rivera's districts, the Queens Plaza Court Square bid, sometimes referred to as the Long Island City bid in Councilmember Van Bramer's district. The, Ridge, uh, the Bay Ridge Fifth Avenue bid in Councilmember Brannon's district. The Court Livingston Skirmerhorn bid in Councilmember Levin's district. The Park Slope Fifth Avenue bid in Councilmember Lander and Councilmember Menchaca's district. The Chinatown bid in Councilmember Chin's district. And the Westchester Square bid in Councilmember Joe Nye's district. Uh, each of the following council members has, each, uh, each of these council members has indicated that they support the requested budget increases. More information regarding the specific amounts of the assessment increases and the reason for the request can be found in the committee report prepared by the Finance Division staff. Uh, those are all of today's items. Are there any questions? Okay, I will now ask Billy Martin. Yeah, okay, now I will now ask Billy Martin, committee clerk, to call the roll. Billy Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Gibson. Aye. Cohen. Cornegie. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Grudenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Powers. Aye. Matteo. Aye. A vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, we'll hold the vote open for a little while longer, maybe about 15 minutes or so. And I just want to remind everyone to make sure that they sign the disclosure forms. <laughs> 